Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here. If you are new to my channel, please make sure that you are subscribed to my newsletter on Substack and give my alternative platforms a follow. You will find them linked in the description below. As interest costs on national debt exceed $1 trillion, an increase of 30%, 30 compared to last year, the massive wall of debt can no longer be ignored. And this is why we're starting to hear more leaders calling to reduce government spending, calling to reduce deficits, and at least to start working on a bipartisan approach towards fiscal responsibility. Unfortunately, it does sound like wishful thinking at the moment, but kicking the can down the road can't last forever. In an unsurprising move, credit rating agency Moody's reported on September the 24th that it expects further deterioration in U.S. fiscal health, driven by increasing political instability and the likely unwillingness of whoever becomes the next leader to reduce national debt burden. America is also going bankrupt extremely quickly. Um, and, and nobody seems to, everyone seems to be sort of whistling past the graveyard on this one. You know, the, the Defense Department budget is a very big budget, okay? It's a trillion dollars a year, DOD, Intel, it's trill, a trillion dollars. Um, and interest payments on the national debt just exceeded the Defense Department budget. But they're over a trillion dollars a year, just in interest and rising. We're, we're adding a trillion dollars to, the, to our debt, which our you know, kids and grandkids are going to have to pay somehow every three months. And then soon it's going to be every two months, and then every month. And then the only thing we'll be able to pay is interest. And, and if, if this is, it, it's, just, you know, the, it's just like a person at scale that has racked up too much credit card debt, um, and not, this does not have a, a good ending. Um, and so, so we, we have to reduce the spending. Credit rating agencies Moody's as well as Fitch still maintain their negative rating of U.S. economic expectations. You might recall that Moody's moved it from stable to negative last November. In the report that was published on Tuesday, September the 24th, Moody says that regardless of who is in the office, their tax and spending policies will drive future budget deficits, which will fuel, of course, U.S. fiscal decline. The administration's tax and spending policies will affect the size of future budget deficits and the expected decline in U.S. fiscal strength, which could have a significant effect on the U.S. sovereign credit profile. These debt dynamics would be increasingly unsustainable and inconsistent with a AAA rating if no policy actions are taken to course correct. Although this report doesn't necessarily bring any meaningful change now, it is absolutely refreshing to finally see more and more attention being drawn to the completely self-destructive, unsustainable fiscal path. Moody's anticipates the United States government will remain divided, preventing sweeping fiscal reforms by the new administration. The U.S. hegemonic power is fully dependent on its economic strength. As the U.S. economy continues to slow, the labor market is showing bigger cracks, and the consumer confidence drops to a 30-year low, the global majority might soon see that the king is in fact naked. What would we have to deter China? In my opinion, we have economic strength. China will probably have more military, bigger navies, more weapons, more missiles. They'll have nuclear. They've got space. They have a space station. They've got all of that. But what if they have an internal economic crisis because none of the major economies of the world were investing there, doing business there, creating jobs there? It would be the collapse of their economy that would be our best leverage. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.